I don't know how I missed this, but Ram lowered their prices. And it's pretty much been all month. Someone sent me an email, and I'm gonna read that to you guys in a second because I'm gonna give them credit because I would have never saw this, by the way. But earlier this month, whenever Ram does their incentives, they show the pricing online. So I always check just to kind of see what the pricing is. And on Larry H. Mills' website where I go to do my videos, it looked like there was a bunch of issues on their website, but it wasn't that. It was that Ram lowered their prices. And do you guys see this? There is snow on the ground again, almost April here in Utah. But let's go ahead and read that email and we'll jump into the video. Now really quickly, a guy named Jason Sutphin, I believe that's how you say that last name. I apologize if I said it wrong, but I wanted to give him a shout out because he's the one that sent this to me. But he asked me a question, any widespread news on Ram HD's lowering sticker prices? I've noticed at a dealer I frequent online and purchase from, their prices and discounts have changed quite a bit, but still basically net to the same price. So that was the same question I had because when I logged into Larry H. Miller's website, I saw that the MSRPs were totally different from what the window sticker said. Now let's keep reading. Jason does uh, reference a dealership in Missouri, I believe. He says two weeks ago, they had $18,000 off on the 2500 and 3500s, and now they're showing $8,000 off. So I saw the exact same thing. However, resulting in roughly the same acquisition price, which is basically the $18,000 off. Additionally, you cannot view the stickers online, which was always previously available. I suspect the sticker prices are changing. Perhaps you could do a video on this. Thanks for your content. And hey, dude, I really appreciate you doing this seriously because I saw this earlier this year, guys, as I said earlier, and I was confused. So let's go ahead and hop over to Larry H. Miller so I can show you guys what we're talking about. Let's just go ahead and check out the Ram 2500s. Okay, and we're gonna do highest price first because I want to show you guys some stuff here. There was a truck that was there a while. So this one right here, this truck has a price of $105,770. So you guys can see they have the MSRP here. And actually, you see now they're showing the discount, dealer discount and the selective or select inventory bonus cash. So when I first came online, you would see something to the effect of, let me go back here. If you were to look at a truck like this, so this truck is showing a very weird price. So now this is obviously totally wrong, but the MSRP is showing 87,550. Let's see if we can find the window sticker for this one because normally they put it inside of here. So yep, window sticker is right here. And you guys see right here, the pricing is $96,555. Now I'm assuming some of the trucks have different pricing because maybe they are gonna be lowering the MSRP on some of these select Ram trucks, like the Rebel, for example. But that Limited did have the actual MSRP. By the way, look at this. I might have to do a video on this in the future. And let's see, this is a, Another limited, let's see if the pricing is right on this one. Now they're only showing the MSRP pricing without discount. So let's keep looking. So here's one right here. This is a limited and the MSRP is $96,290. Let's check out what the window sticker says. So view window sticker and voila. So he is correct. This is pretty strategic here. I don't blame Ram for wanting to change their pricing because I always thought it was kind of silly for them to show $20,000 off, $18,000, whatever, $15,000 off of MSRP. And now what they're doing is they're flipping it. They're saying, okay, let's just lower the MSRP and then let's just show a discount of like five or $6,000, which looks so much better. Cause if you go on GMC, Chevy, or even Ford's website, they do have trucks now discounted for the heavy duty and super duty segments. And it's like about five to $6,000 in some cases. So let me answer the question. Has Ram lowered their prices? Yes, they have, but it looks like it's for an incentive. It says here, new lower starting MSRP 
plus bonus cash on all RAM 3500s. And I know that RAM has been having some issues moving the one tons compared to the 2500s, which is kind of crazy to me, but for some weird reason, they're having a little bit harder time. So that's probably why they're doing this price change because they're not able to move these units fast enough. And so I think that they did the right thing, but they shouldn't have had their trucks price so high in the first place. So here's what I'm gonna do. We obviously know we can pull the window sticker for this truck. So $105,770. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to build this Ram 2500 online. I know that this incentive is for the 3500s, but I believe they're doing the exact same thing for the uh, 2500s as well. So I'm gonna build one online, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna option it exactly the same as this one, and I'm gonna see if the pricing is different. So this is the MSRP we have to get to. I just finished building the truck. Now for some weird reason, it will not allow me to pick this limited level one equipment group, but check this out. On the window sticker, you guys see what the price of this limited level one is? I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So it's $7,000. If you go online, even though I can't click it, they're only showing a price of three grand for the limited level one equipment group. So it makes the truck $98,000. I have every other option selected on this truck, guys. And do you guys see what the MSRP is? It's $105,000. Now this is the only one I was able to pull so far. And you can see they have definitely dropped their prices. So 98 grand is what a fully loaded limited truck cost. I guess if you're in the market for a 2024 or you have high hopes for the 2025, this is good news for you, right? I can't figure Chrysler out. I always thought that they were just a very odd company. And I'm gonna say something I probably shouldn't say, but it's not that big of a deal, I guess. I mean, it's a free country still, I believe. I said this off the cuff a long time ago, and I still believe it to this day. When I used to work in the car business, I worked with a lot of people who were on drugs. One of the guys that comes to mind, I'm not gonna say his name, obviously, I remember he would come into work, and he was probably one of our best salespeople. He would come in, sell 20 cars, and once he got paid the next month, we wouldn't see him for two weeks. And then once everything dried up probably, he would come back, he would just kind of stumble into the dealership, sit down and just go to work again and do the exact same thing the next month. I think of Chrysler as that cocaine addict. <laughs> I just do. I think of them like cocaine addicts because they do the same thing. They come out with a great product. Like I think about the 2019 Rams, the 1500s and the HDs. When they came out with those trucks, they changed the game. Even to this day, I will admit, Ram is still one or two at the top of the list when it comes down to just overall truck. I mean, they have the best truck on the market. I know that they are outdated 100%. I'm not saying that they're better in that regard. I'm just saying that they changed the game. Guys that bought GMs or Fords, even Toyota guys, everyone was jumping over to Ram. Everyone. And when you think about Chrysler, they come out with a great product, and then it's like they go on this hiatus. Like, they just do crazy stuff. Like, they're just not there. They're not a, I don't know who's making the decisions after they do these great products, because if they would continue to just make them better, my goodness, like, if they could do what they did back in 2019 every three years, I think Ford and GM would have a tough time competing, because they still have just caught up to Ram. This is five years. And Ford has redesigned and GM has refreshed and they're still pretty much up there with Ram. And they're pretty much better, I will be honest. They're better trucks, but not by much, not by much. And I'm not a Ram fanboy, I'm not a GM fanboy, I'm not a Ford fanboy. I could care less. No one's paying me. I could care less. I seriously don't understand why people care so much. I do a video on the GM truck and then all the Ford guys get mad. I do a video on the Ford truck and then all the GM guys get mad. I do a video on the Ram truck and then whatever. It just, I don't care. I could care less. I really, I stir the pot. If you haven't noticed yet, all my friends laugh at me and they text me like, you like to stir the pot. Some of them don't even know me personally and they know that about me. So 
So yes, I stir the pot. When I title my videos, I'm only stirring the pot because I know it makes some of these sensitive guys upset. So I do that for that very reason. So yes, I'm childish sometimes. But I'm serious when I say this, I really do think Chrysler is on drugs. I'm just joking, obviously, but they remind me of the guy that I used to work with because he would do a heck of a job when he was there and he would just go missing. Like we wouldn't see him for two weeks and he would stumble back in the dealership and do the exact same thing. And I think that's what Ram's gonna do with the trucks in the future. I think the new tungsten that you guys saw on the half tons is probably gonna make its way into HDs and it's gonna be a heck of a truck. And then from this point on, we probably won't see anything good from Ram for a few years. Peace.